Okay, we start with uh, uh, getting in the circle. All right, put the circle in the center. All right, center it, and then the next thing is uh, to go to the um, border. All right, set the border. Uh, we're going to set the border. Put about five. Okay, and change the border color to white. Okay, and. Um, Right, next thing to do is uh, go to the uh, color, the sort of color here, and then you can actually change it down to zero so it's become transparent and it's only seen in the border. So, next thing is to do a second circle. Uh, this time, no, not a circle, you do an arc. All right, so do the same thing with the arc. Uh, we're going to change the arc color to white. Okay. Slide it up, yep. Yeah, the thickness we were going to adjust it. Yeah, the width is uh, now 14, we change it to uh, 10 so they get a thinner one. And we're going to reduce the size of the arm. They do the properties and uh, scale, scale it down to about 70 or 75. 75 would be nicer, it's uh, nearer to the other circle. So Okay, now what we can do next here is uh, we're going to add uh, some dashes. Uh, it's up to you. Actually, you can do quite a lot of different things with this. Yeah, you can change the spacing. Uh, we'll put the white color to be a bit darker first so that it differentiates a little bit with the outer circle. So, what we do here is uh, instead of changing dash I will also do some changes to the dash spacing that will give you a little bit of a pattern of yeah the color pattern dash spacing so it becomes like a dotted dotted circle around it yeah that's it then I put about 15 yeah so this is the end part where you can do a sharper end or a corner end to your arc. Okay, next thing we're going to do is we're going to animate the arc. We go to properties and choose arc. And then uh, easing. Uh, easing, we're going to choose uh, expo so they can fast. Okay, the first keyframe and then the next thing. First keyframe, you see the start angle and the end angle. 40. So in the beginning, you will see a shorter arc, and then when you end up in the uh, keyframe, you will have 240. But I'm going to uh, make this make the arc even larger to 350. I didn't want to go to the, to the maximum of 360. Yeah, you can do that. Then you become a complete circle. So from here, we add another second animation. All right. So same thing. Go to uh, Expo and then. So this time you bring the arc backwards and then it will go back to uh, zero again. Yeah. Play around with this adjustment yeah. up to your liking. You can always have your start uh, to have a, a, a higher degree, higher angle and then end with a bigger angle. So yeah, once you get used to it, you will know how the whole angle works. Yeah. Right, so now you have the outer circle and then also you have the arc that is changing back. This time we're going to do the two cross hair. Okay, put in your uh, rectangle or square and make sure it covers the circle and a little bit larger than the circle. All right, and then reduce it um, to whatever thickness you want. All right, center it back again. you need to do the second part um, of second the, the, the second uh, crosshair so let's do the first one first yeah, the first one you, you narrow it down 
and put it center and middle. Yeah. So and then the next thing we do is uh, I'm going to change the color. Let's expand it. Yeah, so that it's easier to see. And okay, let's have this in a white color. Center. Yeah. And then the second one uh, is the other way. So we have got a cross here. So these are cross heads. Okay. So do the same thing for the vertical and the, and the, um, the horizontal. Yeah. So always use the center yeah, and the middle. Then you have your whole complete circle in proper position. Change it again to white. Okay. So bring this together. So this is a five min five minute duration. Yeah. Next thing we're gonna do here is uh, to animate the crosshair. Right. You see, it's all everything is all central. Yeah. It's nice and smooth. So do the horizontal. Uh, add animations to it. Okay. Right. In and out okay scale up and out yeah scale down okay yeah bring it almost to the center here so that it goes up and it goes down okay and see how the crosshair goes up and down. So what you're going to do now here is right click yeah. and copy, yeah, control C and then control V yeah. to paste. Okay. That's, those are shortcut keys. So now you got the crosshair done. You have the arc. This is a simple uh, shutter. So from here you can just make adjustment and uh, experiment and make it yeah any way you want. So I just give you a basic idea at least to start with uh, for the first version. Yeah. Next thing is to group the whole animations, uh, um, the timeline together. And now you have a group. So you've got a shutter in place. Next thing is we're going to put in the media. I have uh, downloaded a uh, skateboard guy, a skateboard. So the media put it below the circle so that the, uh, the shutter circle is on top, right? You can see that the shutter is uh, quite bright colored uh, with the video. So what I'm going to do now is um, to change and darken the video a little bit. But before that, we find a nice spot for um, the shutter to move. Now, the shutter is now in group, so it's very easy for you to move the shutter. So find a good spot first. Okay, that's, that's a good one, right? Okay, that's it. So you find a good spot here. Uh, bring your shutter down. You can bring the whole thing because it's group, so it's very easy to move. Move anywhere you want. And then resize it. Yeah, resize it to whatever size that you want, depending on the media. Okay. So what I'm going to do now here is uh, I can also uh, put a shutter. You can actually uh, save as a C, so they can reuse again and again and bring it out. Okay. So what we do now, we are going to do a freeze frame, okay? Do a freeze frame, it will go into your folder and bring the freeze frame out again. And once you bring the, yeah, and we name it scene one first, yeah, and then I bring it, yeah. okay? Bring it back inside, shorter, shorten it, and bring down the original and then put this on top of the video so that it will be exactly where it is in 
this frame, expand it. Um, if you need to, just go to opacity and uh, bring it down, then you can check it uh, so that it will overlap. Yeah, see how it overlaps there? Okay. So what you do now is bring it back and then pull back your opacity. Uh, duplicate it first because there are two times in this media that there's a skateboard jump. So um, move it and then the second time it is moving again. Yeah, get it exactly where he lands. Okay, now that's it. That's the part. You pull it back and then exactly where it moves and freeze. Okay. And then you continue the video back here. Right? So for both the clips, yeah, bring back your PCD up to 100 for both. Okay. And adjust the first one too as well. So down here. Okay. So you see how it goes. And then you give the shutter move and freeze the shutter move and come back down. So this is a five minute uh, clip. So right, okay, the next step we need to do now is to add some camera click sound. So go to your uh, music and then type in uh, camera and you'll be able to see several ones. I like the number four for this one. See that try out all different camera uh, shutter sound see which one suits you okay now if you don't have this you can always uh, download it uh, camera shutter sounds around okay. so duplicate it again for the second one so that it goes up all right so now you can see how this holding moves Let's check it out. Okay, click here, shut it off, click here, shut it off. So you get your whole complete yeah, video. So good luck and uh, try it out. Um, yeah. See what else you can create out of this one.